Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. I am Afefe with Touch by Tarot and I am an intuitive reader. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Uh, I do very often readings, always do readings on the new moon and full moon and then periodically I check in with you all when spirit leads me to do a specific themed message. Uh, it's a beautiful morning here. I've got my window open, so if you hear a little wind or outside noise, that's what's happening. I was in meditation, um, actually woke up during the night and heard the word wisdom, clearly, like somebody was speaking to me. So today, I want to do a reading for you all around, are you working your wisdom? You know, are you using it? Are you employing it? And and also, are you giving yourself credit for the wisdom that you've gained through experience, right? Through, you know, we think about wisdom and sometimes I think we put it, we put it beyond ourselves. You know, we think it is, it comes from great philosophers and great teachers and all of that is true. But all of us also employ and use wisdom because we've learned from our experiences. And I was thinking, you know, just personally, how much I'm getting older. Uh, I make no secret of that. I'm in my 60s. And, you know, sometimes I think about, I go backwards in time. Maybe some of you can relate to that as well. I think more about what I used to do and and how things used to be and when I think about it going forward it feels challenging it feels like I've got you know this sense of of you know how do I how do I make use of what I've done and how hard I've worked and and who I'm becoming and still becoming we all are on this journey you know for our entire time on earth we should be learning and growing and evolving right but what does all of that do? What is all this hard work that we're doing in our careers and our families and our personal life and our spiritual life? What are we doing? We are gaining wisdom. And part of what I think we are, are supposed to do in all of our mission and purposes on this life, you know, however we all carry it out individually, but we are meant to share our wisdom with one another. We're meant to share our experiences and and what we've learned and how we go about things in an effort to better inform us and give us the motivation to keep going all right i hope that clicks with you because that is for sure what spirit gave me this morning is about wisdom and how you can employ your wisdom giving you a message today from your guides around wisdom all right so i'm gonna use i've got about uh da, 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 i've got about Seven decks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks in front of me, spiritual number. I didn't even realize that until I just looked down. They are all oracles. I, I will not be reading with tarot today. Typically I do. I read, I'm an intuitive reader. I read with tarot and oracles and usually I combine them both. But for this specific message around wisdom, spirit said, hey, today we're going to go to the oracles. I'm going to pull three cards from this leader deck and it'll be a catalyst card. So if it's a message on the card that you're drawn to, then I'm gonna go deeper and relate to your wisdom and how to make better use of it or the guides, your guides coming through to you to say, this is what we want you to understand about the wisdom that you've gained and how to make better use of it, you know, how to make it work for you, right? And and so let's go. I feel like I wanna say some more and spirit's like, mm -mm, shush it up, Afefe, let's go, right? All right, so card number one, Catalyst, is Storms. Whoa, okay. If you're drawn to storms, so maybe excuse that ring light. Let me pull it back a little bit. Yeah, that's better. So if if you are drawn, maybe some of us, I happen to like storms myself. I think that they're mystical. I, I tend to like want to open up all the windows. In fact, we're having stormy weather here as I speak, so... Storms is a catalyst for some of you. And also, I just looked down. The smaller print on storm says cleansing. Mm. Let's, let's, let me get that a little closer to you. Cleansing. So this, this feels like, you know, the storms of life, the storms of change, the storms of, you know, that internal emotional turmoil that sometimes we go through, the storms of life, right? That's a, that's a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason. So cleansing, though, is a key word with that. 
Another catalyst, I'm gonna choose three. Another catalyst is speed. Hmm. Movement. If you're drawn to that, and there's some speed and some movement going on there. All right? Speed and movement for some of you, if you're drawn to that. And a third catalyst card is passion. Woo! And it says the soul. Mm. Passion, the soul. All right? So those are our three catalysts. I'm going to show them to you one more time, and then I'm going to go into the other cards and give you your message from the guides. The first one was storms. If you're drawn to that, and cleansing is the, is the key word there. The second one was speed, movement. And the third catalyst was passion, your soul. Or the soul, it says. Passion, the soul. All right, you ready? Let's go in. For those of you who were drawn to the storms, the cleansing, the storms, here's some messages for you. And I don't, typically when I do these kinds of readings, I often just to save time, I will, um, I will spread the cards and have the piles in front of me. But today it felt like I needed to pull in front of you. So here we go. I'm going to get them on the table and then I will interpret for you. For those who chose storms, cleansing storms, spirit, what do they need to know about working their wisdom, utilizing it, recognizing it, giving themselves credit for it? Okay. How do they, what do you need to say to them? What do they need to know about wisdom? The wisdom that they've gained, the wisdom they've worked hard for, the wisdom that is yet to be acquired, that is still unfolding. I am two more. Wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom, the wisdom spirit, the wisdom. Thank you. The wisdom. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we have. Soon, telepathy. I'm learning to trust the lone wolf past. Your destiny. I'll show you these cards, of course. I feel safe and grounded and surrender. What you can't control is teaching you to let go. All right. You were drawn to the storms. And I always love the way spirit does this because I don't know where it's going to go. I'm just here for the ride, just like you, okay? So we're thinking, if you, if you were drawn to storms and we're talking about your wisdom, naturally that says, you know, perhaps you have gone through some situations in life we all do, but for you, a lot of your wisdom has been gained from those storms, from tumultuous times in your life, from either directly experiencing, you know, trauma, having to go through deep healing, having to deal with, you know, sometimes overwhelming circumstances, whatever would represent the storms of life for you, it is a lot of your wisdom from that has been, it's made you feel like a lone wolf, but it's learning to trust. You have, your soul's wisdom has come from experiences that seemed on, you know, in very visceral ways, like they were holding you back or meant to, um, meant to somehow make you, make you, you know, kind of cave in when in fact, what you were doing was learning how to trust yourself. There is tremendous wisdom for those of you who were drawn to the storms card. There's tremendous wisdom in, in your own ability to first figure out for yourselves what is true for you. How do you act on things and giving yourself credit for having survived those storms, having made your way through them. And for many of you, it was not with a lot of help because you've got this lone wolf card, right? But here's the deal. 
just as this figure is standing by itself, there was all this pyramid, you know, the ancestors, your spirit guides, the, the sun feeling eclipsed by the moon because there were those dark times or there were those times when you felt like you were not supported, but your inner wisdom, what it was doing was helping your soul learn to trust itself learning how to make decisions, how to find the fortitude, even if nobody else seemed to be there to prop you up, you learned how to do that. Now, it also, you know, talking about trusting yourself, you also got this card that says surrender. And, it, and the full message says, what you can't control is teaching you how to let go. There, these storms were certainly things that, like we said, felt overwhelming. They are things that you didn't have perhaps the knowledge, the wisdom, the know-how, the experience at that time to really understand how you were going to get from point A to point B. But in surrendering to the situation, that's where you learn to trust yourself. That's where by letting go and understanding that, that somehow, some way, this is teaching me something. I think for a lot of you, you had that inner, that inner knowing, that inner, in, you know, your intuition would kick up. And through these situations, you knew if I just, if I just step back enough to release, if I'm okay being on my own and going through this and summoning my inner reserves to do this, I will be okay. Now, going forward in life, what that's done is the need to feel safe and grounded is extremely strong for those of you who were drawn to this storms card. All of us want to be, I mean, realistically, all of us want to feel safe and we want to feel grounded. And, and we all go through exercises, especially on a spiritual path. You got to check in with yourself and, and figure out how to get grounded very often when we're dealing with things. But for you, when something comes out of the blue, when something shakes up your reality, your your current situation, you know, when a job gets a little funky, um, you know, when there are changes on a job, I would I would venture to guess that many of you um, really have a tough time dealing with change, or you've you've had to deal with so much of it that there could be. Um, almost, uh, I don't want to call it cavalier, but it's almost like this, oh, here we go again sort of feeling. There's, there may be a pattern, uh, a repetitive pattern in your life where feeling safe and grounded is something that seemed like you had to try and achieve, but achieve it on your own. Now, here's the thing, moving forward, soon is a timing aspect that comes for you. And spirit is saying very soon, check this out. You're going to recognize that through these experiences, you have gained the power of telepathy. Whew. Telepathy, transmission, perception, communication. When you have gone through these experiences, through these storms, and you have gone through them very often feeling like, I am, I am what I have to count on in this situation. It's on me. It's felt like a solitary journey at times. Okay. You could have, you could have people all around you, but still ultimately you're the kind of person that is looking and seeking your own answers, your own wisdom. All right. But here, this telepathy is, you have learned through those storms, you have learned how to pick up on signals. You've become that time alone has taught me move my mic. I keep bumping up against it. That time alone has caused your, your spiritual gifts, your wisdom to, to take off. And soon, if you have not felt that, if you see this telepathy and you go, I don't know, I, I never thought of myself as telepathic soon you will. Why? Because your final card here is destiny. Your soul and your wisdom that's being gained through all of these experiences, through all of these changes, through all of these patterns. And for many of you, I feel like it's been a repeating pattern. For some of us, it could be, you know, I'll share with you personally. I have dealt with a repeating pattern of abandonment in my life. I was adopted. That felt like a form of abandonment. My mother uh, died when I was 16. 
through alcoholism and I, I always sort of, you know, had some resentment toward her for that. I had to work through that because I felt like she chose alcohol over me. So I felt abandoned by her. I've had situations, you know, friendships and, and romantic situations where the trust, you know, that I put in people, I felt let down and abandoned by them. So that's a repeating pattern for me. For some of you, there's been a repeating pattern around these storms. And you have felt, as a result, you've had to, to go off on your own, that lone wolf, that, that solitary learning how to trust. You, were, you, you felt like you were forced to do this. But what it was doing was it was actually developing your wisdom to accept your gift of telepathy and that is a part of your destiny there's a beautiful message on the other side of this and it says it is our divine birthright in the feminine energy to meet the right people at the right time in the right place and say this i believe i am deserving i believe i am worthy i believe i am an empowered being i trust that i am being lovingly guided to my best outcome I'll hold that up for you all right. So what's happening with this telepathy, your guides are saying your wisdom comes from being able to assess what is happening around you and the, the your ability, your soul's wisdom and, and actually the gift that you've been given through these experiences is by by having to do it on your own and figure certain things out on your own, it developed your gift for telepathy. It allowed you to be able to see what was coming, to be able to see the world around you in a more intense way than perhaps some other people who are always cloaked and comforted and supported and carried, right? Nothing wrong with that. But we're talking about your path and your wisdom and your guides giving you this message today. Embrace transmission embrace the messages that you get from the universe embrace those times when it is necessary for you to step back and and be able you know don't look at it as suffering or something punitive or some sort of, sort of punishment what it's doing is it is developing your inner wisdom your intuition your power of telepathy all right. That's your key word. Please. You know, if I, and I can feel some of you just like telepathy, but yes, yes. And surrender to that. Surrender and let go to any preconceived notions that, you know, you're not telepathic, that you don't necessarily see yourself as having that power or that gift. But the wisdom of your soul is saying, yes, you do. All right. I hope that sends you, you know, that pings you in it. If nothing else, it's kind of sends you on a journey of pursuing that thought just sit with that for a minute look that up look up telepathic powers and and how you know how that informs the soul and, and perhaps that is a part of your calling i'd love to hear from you all right okay for those of you who were drawn to this speed and movement let's get your cards on the table for those who chose speed or movement spirit what is the wisdom that they need to understand about themselves? What is it that their souls want to say at this time? What is it that you want to say at this time that they need to be aware of to make their wisdom work for them, to, to utilize it, to embrace it, to grow it, to stand on it, to feel comforted by it, to feel strengthened by it? Mm, I love that. To feel strengthened by that wisdom and movement, to be able to move. To be able to move with speed, because speed also implies confidence, you know, that, ooh, that jumped right out. Let's take it. All right, two more. Those who chose speed and movement, Spirit, what do they need to know about wisdom, working their wisdom, embracing it, growing it, living by it, living according to it? One more. Okay. Okay. So speed, you have brilliant beliefs. All right, I see you. I'll show these to you, of course. You have journaling. Some of you could be really good communicators. 
You could be really prolific writers, prolific readers. Your ability to absorb information, speed, and movement also feels for some of you, your, your quick studies, your fast learners. A karmic relationship. I liberate myself from emotions that don't serve me. Ooh, that could be tied to that journaling as well and your ability to write and go and evolve that way. And the burned one, fire cannot stop me. That's part of your power, your speed. Begin again. Today is a fresh start. Your path is clear to begin where you are. If you were drawn to this movement, your soul's wisdom is saying, been there, done that. And it's none of it was wasted, all right? All of it has, has built up this body of experience that has, has made you understand nothing can stop you. That speed, that movement, nothing can stop you. And I think for those of you who were drawn to this, you, your wisdom is resilience. Your wisdom is learned resilience, persistence. Many of you are probably really, really hard workers, extremely smart. I'm looking at this brilliant beliefs, luminous life force, and personal power. Okay? You have, you have a tremendous wherewithal, um, and the wisdom of your soul is to utilize that wherewithal in service to something, someone, others, you are you are meant to create many of you are creators you are you create you either write you you have you do arts you maybe it's even technology uh it could be software whatever but there's something in you that these brilliant beliefs that you have are you know it is your soul's wisdom that is brought to bear you produce if you chose this movement in speed, you all produce, you all are, your wisdom is not only meant to be shared, but it is being shared. You, and perhaps what Spirit is saying here is you have not even recognized it. It comes so naturally to you. It, it is like ingrained. It's just a part of your DNA that, that you, as you produce as you as you continue to grow yourself as you grow your skills as you grow your talents your beliefs deeply spiritual people you are haha <laughs> you know you read you you're here with me on and in doing the cards so clearly that's that's a part of your path but this karmic relationship there is a relationship that you have to your past lives and your higher self that is working itself out with the wisdom that you brought into this lifetime from past lifetimes, okay? That's the karmic relationship. And you may find yourself drawn to people or having, um, having soulmates. When we say that, remembering too, we're not always talking, you know, we say soulmates and we think we go instantly to that romantic setting. But for many of you, the soulmate connection is in this karmic relationship. It could be your parents. It could be your friendships. Uh, it could be, you know, your tribe. It could be just people who come into your life for a period of time and then leave because there is that karmic connection, this relationship. And you were meant to show them, I would bet anything, many of you, if you were drawn to this speed in this movement, you have helped so many people. And whether or not you knew it, and I'm, I've got, it's storming here, so you may hear a little rain in the background. But, and I had storm in the first, uh, in the first section. But there has been... There has been times when you have shared your wisdom with others and helped them grow along their journey and you were doing it so naturally, it was so native to you, you didn't even realize it. I liberate myself from emotions that don't serve me. You are freedom seekers. This speed and this movement, you are freedom seekers if you chose this card. It's, it's about, and also paying attention to that geometric pattern, I feel like for some of you, you're gonna be drawn to that. Um, you may be really into the metaphysical sciences. You may be into um, astronomy, astrology. 
you know, metaphysical, all sorts of metaphysical studies because these brilliant beliefs of yours, you are a seeker. Um, you are, many of you could be what I refer to as star seeds because star seeds come to this plane with this incredible wisdom. The challenge is learning how to release it, learning how to utilize it, learning, learning how to adapt to it because you can feel frustrated. Here you are in this 3D world uh, with all of this knowing, with all of this ancient wisdom that that somehow you're you're trying to incorporate into the day-to-day -day fleshly world it is so it is so informed you came here with such an informed soul that that sometimes you may feel a little frustrated trying to get it out trying to get it out the right way trying to express it the right way and you want it and you want it now that speed and movement you are not the type of people who are comfortable just sitting and mulling you may even find yourselves uh struggling some of you may struggle when you know one of our first go-to's with any form of personal growth meditate 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 for you sitting still and feeling like you're just kind of going to be present in the moment sure it's doable you certainly have the, the capacity for it but it may not be the most comfortable thing for you for many of you it's about it's about solutions it's about getting up and doing something it's about planting in the garden it's about going for that walk or that run it's about having those conversations taking the workshop it is about journaling and on the back of this message it says the suggestion here is to reconnect and then stay connected to yourself Give yourself the opportunity to slow down. Talk about speed. And you saw me pull these cards. I love the way Spirit brings these messages. Give yourself the opportunity to slow down and to rest and to settle into your heart and listen for the conversation Spirit is eager to have with you. That's the journaling. Many of you could benefit from um, what is called, you know, that sort of automatic writing and and just being in present because what that does is it is a meditative practice but it's action oriented it it allows you to do something you are i wouldn't be surprised as well if many of you are fire signs because remember you got that burned one message and many even fire can't stop me like there is this fuel within you if you were drawn to this movement and speed there is this fuel within you to get things done to see results to make it happen and your final card here is begin again today is a fresh start your path is clear begin where you are you may be in between you know part of going back to the theme of this reading is your message your soul's uh wisdom you may be in an in-between phase of feeling like you know, I started your reading out saying, been there, done that. You may feel like you've, you have shared, you have done, you have recognized, you have traveled, you have grown, and you have all of these mile markers that you can point to in your life. But part of what will motivate you and your soul's wisdom is saying, that's great. Now begin again. What's the next project? What's the next thing? What's the next new beginning? What's the next, what's the next, um, the next mountain to climb, the next ocean to swim, you know, the next, the next forest to explore. Okay. Because for you, there is so much that you are brought to this earth in this lifetime to share your wisdom and you share by doing, you share by demonstrating, you share by, by creating, by gifting, by, by having exchanges with the people and the world around you. All right. That's what, that's your soul's wisdom right now. And I think the greatest exercise for you going back to this journaling is, you know, write, write it out. Let your spirit guides talk to you. Let your soul speak to you. It is literally wanting to speak to you. And when you sit down with that pen and paper or that tablet or that computer, that laptop, just allow what comes to come. It may feel like gibberish even. It may feel like I don't even know what this is, but remember you are, you are a channel. You are a channel. Speed and movement for you and coming with that tremendous past life experience that you have, there's, there's a road that you take. There's a, you don't need a map. You just need to see the road and off you go.
And the way will be shown to you, especially that speed and that movement. Your guides, your soul's wisdom is always on point and ready for you. And it loves the challenge. It thrives on the challenge of new knowledge, new experiences, new people, new places. Uh, traveling is probably really important for a lot of you. And even if you're not in a position to physically travel you could enjoy you know travel books around travel videos or movies around travel etc because your soul is expansive it's big it likes to move it gathers steam and that is how your wisdom expresses itself all right i hope that i hope that really pings you it felt so good to me all right we're going to move on now to those of you who were drawn to the soul and passion all right your wisdom, your message from the gods around your wisdom, the soul and passion, the soul and passion. Those who are drawn to this soul and passion spirit, how does their wisdom express itself and what do they need to know? What do you want to say to them about their wisdom? The soul, the passion of the soul, the passion of the soul. The passion within them, the passion within them that grows their wisdom, their wisdom grows through how they feel, how they stand, how they position themselves, how they've learned their soul's growth. They have a passion for soul work and for soul journey. Ooh, yes, a lot of you, a lot of you have a passion for Philosophy, um, studying the soul, studying the journey of the soul. You are old souls. Many of you are old souls. All right. Physical pain, duality, many meanings. I take the path of love and devotion, connection, death bringer. I end the bullshit. We'll get to that. I honor my intuition and I trust myself. That's the connection. Those of you who were drawn to um, this soul passion, and I want to really hold that image up for you because it is so powerful. You see the waterfalls coming out of the eye. You see the life around the crest of the eye, the trees, the the butterflies, the transformation transformational aspects of the soul. Many of you are drawn to the healing arts. You either are employed in the healing arts or you study them. It is a part of something that you are drawn to because I'm, I'm drawn to this physical pain card that came up. You have either, um, you could be in a service industry, hospitals, caregiver, etc., where you have witnessed or, or um, psychological services, mental health, where you have um, witnessed a lot of physical pain. You yourself could have also endured or are enduring physical pain if there's some lingering health issues, etc. But, but what it is, the wisdom from that, it has sent you down a journey of, of healing. Healing, the healing arts is a passion of yours. Healing mind, body, and spirit, I'm hearing, okay? So it is, it is the physical pain because we know that very often physical symptoms show up as a result of mental issues, you know, the way the brain thinks, the way that we are, are conditioned, that these things, if they're not handled, uh, they can show up in the body, all right? That is the source of uh, dis-ease, right? Disease. Now, duality, many meanings, many meanings and misunderstandings. You are, your soul's passion is to clear up that duality. Your soul's passion in, and your wisdom and what you're learning in this lifetime and are meant to learn in spirit, your guides are here to say, by all means, let's keep at it. Let's really buckle down on that because you are, you are able to understand both sides of a situation, of a condition, 
of how how things appear in life the you know when i was growing up a lot of the old folks used to say well you got to take the bitter with the sweet right many of you have probably heard that got to take the bitter with the sweet like you don't want to hear that you want the sweet like later for the bitter but for you all it's it's definitely that physical pain coming with that duality your wisdom has grown in proportion to your ability to wrap your head your mind your experiences around understanding how to how to diagnose and i don't mean just necessarily in a in a professional manner but diagnose meaning understanding meaning be, meaning being able to figure it out get to the nuts and bolts of a situation that may be painful that may be actually causing physical pain emotional trauma can cause physical pain how you know when we talk about heartache or heartbreak that you know and then how that can turn into actual cardiovascular problems for some people you get that your wisdom there's something in your experience your background and in your natural spiritual gifts that you get that it clicks for you and i get the feeling that you have you have done something about it or you feel like you want to do something about it you are drawn to the healing arts now i want to go to this death bringer and it says i end the bullshit pardon my french but you see i'm reading it straight off of the card there's there's for some of you there's there's sort of a no nonsense approach for you to what needs to be done when when you recognize the pain in yourself a situation you're going through or in others um, for you in particular in this pile this this card I feel like there is this dynamic between you and others and I also say that because I just I looked down I saw this card you got connection and it says the nurturing traits of feminine energy connect people in powerful ways by expressing the feminine divine with compassion kindness empathy and patience you are adding to the network of flowing lightful energy that is rising your your wisdom your soul's wisdom is to help people understand that they are not alone you are a conduit you your wisdom comes from connecting others and, and in so doing you in the bs meaning when sometimes people identify so strongly with their pain with their traumas with their you know with their situations that they're going through their challenges that this is the this is this becomes their go-to for how they are living their lives they they become you know we see how many commercials do we see where we talk about you know in advertising medicines they'll go you know my diabetes my hypertension my arthritis my heartbreak my this my that my as in claiming it and there's a part of you all that is going that ends that your soul's wisdom is able to say no enough of that let's look at how we can build connections to the path of love and devotion the path because the love and devotion is what can can get bounce some of that out of there you know the path of love and devotion is healing it is the anyone anyone who is drawn to the healing arts is is definitely by definition drawn to a path of love and devotion it takes devotion and love to want to see people get better to want to see yourself get better and there's that old say, say, saying healer heal thyself so for many of you you have a passion for healing because you too have had to heal you too understand you connect with people's pain you connect with their issues you connect with um with the methodologies to heal because you have used them yourself you've been drawn to them yourself you want to study them yourself and utilize them and your final card here is i honor my intuition and i trust myself i honor my intuition and i trust myself because your wisdom is something that you are skilled at like this this duality this understanding both sides of a situation understanding health and illness understanding joy and pain understanding ups and downs understanding things come and they go this adaptability that you have is your power it is your wisdom 
and it is a passion of yours it's not just about for you all it's not just about what you're experiencing it's about recognizing that you have a passion your soul is here your soul is fired up when you see people being healed when you see people and yourself you can you can share your wisdom and your journey for how you healed a you know a certain issue how you dealt with emotional issues physical issues uh, even spiritual issues sometimes many of us we get burned out in spirituality because we we misalign ourselves we think that that if we become quote unquote spiritual if we walk that path if we say we embrace our gifts if we get the readings if we take the workshops if we read the books if we do the meditations that 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 in and of itself boom bada bing bada bang issues should be cleared the health issues should be cleared the the emotional scars should be healed that is a process though the wisdom that you are learning is honoring honoring your intuition and trusting yourself is understanding that it is a process to end the bs you know it's not just snap your fingers and it's gone it is a process to end physical pain you have to identify it you have to figure out how to treat it you have to figure out how to sometimes it, it it means maintenance it means something ongoing it could be a yoga practice it could be a medicine it could be supplements physical you know vitamins and supplements it could be medicines that are prescribed etc you get the drift it is something that is ongoing and that is why you take the path of love and devotion because the path is unending the path is from now until. The path came with you when you were born, and the path continues when you return to source, okay? Long, long time from now, right? I always tell myself that. So so there is this, and, and I want to hold that up for you because it is just such a beautiful transcendent energy, you know? It is this ability to smile, to smile to people, with people, and share that light with people who are in physical pain. And again, keeping in mind that the root of, of physical pain for so many of us has to do with what happened emotionally, spiritually, psychically, that if it doesn't get cleared up or recognized or addressed, it can begin to manifest and show up in the body. Your wisdom, if you chose this, this passion, your wisdom is the ability to see that you see that in ways that others do not and and it is a particular and unique gift to you it is a power that you have and you have also the power to bring an end to it you call it like you see it or you are learning to call it like you see it and be comfortable with that be confident in that be confident in your intuition when you are working with people when you are interacting with others and that connection because for you being connected is you're not just meant to sit and study it you are meant to employ healing you are meant to employ the healing arts and put them to use first on yourself and your surroundings and your your family etc your tribe and then by extension with others that is definitely a part of your soul's calling and a part of your soul's passion and i wish you absolutely every every resource recognition within yourself your soul's wisdom the wisdom that you embody and that you carry to trust the work that you are doing okay all right that's it. Those are my messages. Please leave me your feedback. I'd love to hear from you. Um, also, remember, I will put a link below. I do have a tarot workshop coming up. Uh, it'll start registration. I had said uh, November 20th, but I think I'm going to extend it. I've had a few people say, you know, I'm going to do it, but just give me a minute. They're going to register. Uh, so I'm going to extend it through the Thanksgiving holiday. So that will be what, November 25th, 26th? Uh, so you've got a little bit of time, but I will 
post the information for the workshop below. It's going to be really wonderful. Uh, we're going to take it to the next level because so many of you who I read for it, you're using tarot, you're using oracles. And even if you're not reading for others professionally, you get it. Talk about the soul's wisdom, the whole thing of this reading. You understand more than you give yourselves credit for, or you are beginning to awaken to that knowledge and beginning to embrace it. So tarot is a beautiful, beautiful resource and tool that we can use to not only recognize our our wisdom uh, but to begin to to trust that intuition so that we can use it and utilize it to get that advice from spirit that we see in the cards and not just walk away from the table like okay that was nice but okay now I've got a game plan and I know what I need to do all right so again I'll post that uh, information uh, beneath in the underneath the description box and uh, also for those of you who may not know I do have a new tarot guide out called make it personal it's available on amazon you can um i will put a link to that i was going to say you can look up a fefe taihemba on amazon but i will also put a link to the book beneath all right all right enough said be wise all right enjoy this day enjoy the next day and enjoy the day after that i'll talk to you real soon bye